Good morning and welcome to the Take Your Life Back Today show. My name is Ralph Friedrich. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today show. Today is Friday, the 10th of November, 2017, and good morning to everyone. Happy early weekend. God has blessed you with another 86,400 seconds to live today. What will you do with those seconds? Well, for one thing, always take time to thank him. Thank him for all the good things you have in life. Thank him for having health, a job, family, anything else you have good in life. And always remember, be thankful for what you do have. And never, ever dwell on what you don't have. Because if you have something, then you are doing much better in life than most people. But if you want everything, you will be so selfish, you'll end up with nothing. Let's talk about three unexpected ways to find your life's purpose. Do you feel lost as if something was missing in your life as you're sitting here watching my video right now? Maybe you want a bigger difference in the world than you feel that you are, but you aren't sure how you can make a bigger difference. So many of us walk through life feeling numb and desperate for a deeper connection, but aren't sure how to get where we want to go. We're not so sure how to find our life's purpose. The two greatest days of your life are the day you were born and the day you find out what your purpose is in life. But you don't know what your purpose is uh, if you don't look into it a little deeper. And I'm going to give you three ways how to find your life's purpose. I know this feeling way too well. I used to suffer, suffer immense inner turmoil while trying hard to find my life's purpose. I thought my life's purpose was drinking vodka all the time, but hello, God told me different. God already planted a seed in me in 1981 in the Marine Corps as a lay reader in boot camp, and unfortunately, we all faced that fork in the road, and I took the fork that was, or the, the uh, direction that was not the direction of God, and God let me go there to find out for myself that yes, I am dependent on him. Uh, I was uh, uh, not into anything other than doing my duties as a uh, responsible adult by showing up for a job but not enjoying it and also constantly wanting to drink. How to find your life's purpose and passion. Number one is to get more action. Get more action, my friends. You can't think your way into finding your life's purpose. You have to do your way into it like I do each and every day. Take a mental note from Nike and just do it. Just do it. The more we act, the more we get clear on things. So instead of overthinking it, we will all work it out when we start just doing it. Start taking steps towards your goals and start trying new things each and every day. This will help you get out of your own way. I struggled for years trying to find out what my purpose was from 1981 all the way to 2013. I had an inner feeling I knew what the life's purpose was, but I just didn't have the uh, clear set mind to go pursue it. But in 2013, God lifted me out of that bottle of vodka and told me it's time for you, Ralph, to spend the rest of your life doing what you love to do, doing what you do best. And that is talking to people about daily life struggles. And this is what I'm doing today. This will help you get out of your own way. I struggled for years trying to find my life's purpose. The cycle only created a deeper lack of clarity. The experience is the reward. Clarity comes through the purpose and the process process of exploring. Action is where you get results. Number two, my friends, drop your head to your heart. Your heart is your best tool to uh, access your true purpose in life and finding that passion. Ask yourself, what do you love to do? Start taking steps to do that. When you are inspired and connected to your happy self, inspiration floods your heart and soul. When you lead from your heart, you naturally are more, for, uh, more joyful and motivated to explore your purpose. By doing what you love to do, you will be inspired and gain insights into what brings the most joy to you and hopefully to whoever or whatever you do. Number three is to break up the one. Many of us struggle because we try to find the one thing that we are meant to do. But trying to find only one thing is the reason we, uh, we all feel like we're not getting anywhere and we feel like we're missing everything. The notion that we only have one thing meant uh, in our lives uh, limits us from fulfilling our passion, fulfilling our dream. Uh, I have uh, multiple different things going on in my life. I'm a life coach. 
I am now a writer. I am a uh, producer and director of my own show. I am an optician. I am uh, now in the process of uh, starting a new business with my wife, so I am also a businessman. These are different hats that I wear, so start getting in touch with your passions. Make sure that uh, you, know, you don't just concentrate on one. That tunnel vision is the vision that always gets us into trouble. Passion plus daily action equals purpose and purposeful life. Consider the real purpose of anyone's life is to be fully involved in living and breathing and enjoying the 86,400 seconds given to us by God. Try to be present for the journey and fully embrace it. Soon you will be oozing with passion and you will be so purposeful and fulfilled you will wonder how you lived life without enjoying your passion in life. Enjoy the journey into your own awesome life. Let it begin today, November 10th, 2017. Three unexpected ways to find your life purpose. Number one was to get more action. You can't think your way into finding your life purpose. You just have to do it like Nike says, just do it. Number two was drop your head to your heart. Your heart is your best tool to access your true purpose and passion. Ask yourself, what do I like to do? What do I love to do? And then break up with the one. There is possibly more than one life's purpose in your life, maybe more than one passion. In my case, I know for a fact my life's purpose was always to be a dick, an addiction recovery coach and a life coach. Also, for 33 years, I've been an optician, so that becomes a life purpose. And also, my wife has had this dream for a couple of years to open up her own and first out of three uh, uh, snack shops and um, so my life's purpose is to be here for the rest of my life to support her to move her along to guide and direct her and to be a good husband folks start today because of passion plus daily action it will equal purposeful life in your life consider the real purpose of anyone's life and uh, is to be fully engaged fully living it Try to be present for the journey and fully embrace it. Soon you will be oozing with passion and you will be so purposeful and fulfilled you will wonder how you were able to live without it. Let today, November 10, 2017, be your first day to find your purpose in life. Let today be the first day that you reach to God and you say, God, I need guidance and direction. Let the, today be the first day that you change your life from the everyday living to a spiritual living because through the power of prayer everything and all things are possible but you need to start you really do you cannot just turn to God when it's convenient to you you need to be dedicated you need to be a dedicated Christian you need to pray for everything and you need to have the confidence that you realize that God will never let you down 844-405 help is my phone number together we can help each other take our lives back and may God bless you and find your life's purpose. Let me know at 844-405 help what your purpose in life is and together we can talk about it. May God bless you and have a great day.